Hello, we are organizing the 5th Mustafa Koç Sports Awards ceremony and we are very happy to be with you. Since 2017, in collaboration with the Turkish Olympic Committee and under the auspices of Koç community, we have been organizing this ceremony and once again we will be celebrating the passion for sports and Olympic values such as respect, friendship and excellence. We have exciting minutes ahead of us. Let's see who the winner will be. Presenting such an award in Turkey was a dream of Mustafa Koç, and the reason for this dream was his passion for sports and his faith in the healing and unifying impact of sports. Just like an athlete, he devoted his life to kindness, gentlemanliness, and always trying to achieve better. Tonight we are eternizing his memory while we also eternize Olympic values, which were an important part of his personality. Let's remember, he liked to think out of bounds and he liked to dig deep. He would always listen to the voice of his conscience and he would never deviate from the path of justice. No matter where the wind was blowing from and what the conditions were implying, he would not deviate from pursuit of the truth. He would never retreat when he faced challenges. He always was seeking that which was better and was always seeking that which was more. And maybe for this reason, sports was his life spring. His personality mirrored Olympic values. Friendship, excellence, and respect were engraved in his soul. Power and grace, humility and courage were united in his personality and millions of people found inspiration in his story. The day came when the values he protected became our award, the Mustafa Koç Sports Award. We commemorate Mustafa Koç with love and respect. As you know, the Mustafa Koç Sports Awards are presented every year to those who stand out with their commitment to Olympic values as well as their extraordinary sports achievements, whether it be athletes or institutions. Let's hear about the significance of this award from the board member of Coach Holding and the jury president of the Mustafa Koç Sports Award, Ms. Karolin Koç. Distinguished viewers, due to the prolonged effects of the pandemic, we are carrying out the Mustafa Koç Sports Awards ceremony online uh, this year as well. And I would like to thank you all sincerely for being with us tonight. Remembering dear Mustafa and remembering the values who made him who he was and eternizing his faith in the transformative impact of sports are our goal as we gather together for the fifth time this year. As you know, we are experiencing many, many challenges across the world, the global climate crisis, disasters, geopolitical uncertainties, and the ongoing coronavirus pandemic are some of the challenges that have negative impacts on our lives. And facing all these challenges as individuals and institutions, I believe we all have increasing responsibilities towards our planet. Together with this, we need to take on more responsibilities and make our preferences with awareness and take courageous decisions to build a better life for the future. And I sincerely believe we can do this. And at this point, the role of athletes is very important, especially the Olympic athletes who have elite performances. They are the most important role mo models for society and the youth. And this year in the Tokyo Olympics and the Paralympic Games, there were 
194 athletes from 31 branches representing our country, and we were proud to support them as the official TOC sponsor. And I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely congratulate all of our athletes who participated in the Olympics. As Mustafa always emphasized, for a further developed society and for a better future, it is very important that sports is widespread across the grassroots. And with this vision, it is important that sports is embraced across all sects of society and we will continue our work towards education models that are intertwined with sports. Dear guests, I would like to refer to a very esteemed name, Sergei Bubka, and I would like to thank him particularly for joining us tonight with his message. He was an athlete who had records that could not be broken for many years and he also represents the Olympic values that form the foundations of our awards. And I would also like to thank the Turkish Olympic Committee, our project partner, our dear jury, and our members of the selection committee. And I would like to thank all of my colleagues who put effort into organizing this award. I cordially greet you all. Until today, five of our esteemed athletes were recipients of the Mustafa Coach Sports Award. Four of them represented our country at the Tokyo Olympic uh, Games in the summer and made us proud. They came together this year once again for this year's awards and they had a chat around Olympic values and the Olympic experience. Let's join them. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Let's start with uh, Yasemin. But why are you doing that to me? Okay, then uh, Taha has a gold medal, so let's start with him. Well, together with Gizam, we were the first recipients of this award, so we made history in that sense. It really was a very nice evening. I remember watching the first award ceremony on TV on the news, and it was Gizam and Taha who were the recipients, and I thought to myself, I really want to get this award. This award is not only given to successful athletes or those that are medalists or gold medalists. It is granted to athletes who commit to Olympic values, and we need to set a good role model. I have always uh, tried to be a role model for teenage girls, and when I saw them on the Mustafa Koç Sports Award, I was very emotional, and I couldn't stop the tears coming down my eyes. I, it was a very important experience for me. I advise uh, young people to dream. Everything starts with a dream. We went to the Olympic Village there, and I was thinking, wow, now I am at the Olympic Games because it was my dream since I was a child. And I thought, I'm here now. The joy, the unity there is amazing. All the athletes from all over the world are sharing the same emotions. I can't forget Yasemin was going for the competition for a third place, and I was praying for her. And I was sure that she would get the medal as she was going. And I think uh, my competition was two days later. I watched it from far for the first time after a long time, actually. I was not there, but uh, my heart was beating just like every other person in Turkey. And you made us experience such joyful uh, movements. If Mustafa Koç was uh, alive, he would be so happy because he has a great love for sports and he was always part of sports. I know that the recipients of the Mustafa Koç Award are those who deserve it. It is uh, athletes who have values, athletes who have uh, a character. 
And I'm sure this year's winner will be someone like that as well. And I would like to congratulate that person in advance. We would like to thank our athletes for this great conversation. And now we are going to hear from the president of the Turkish Olympic Committee, Professor Ur Ardenas. And I believe there are a few people who could tell us about the meaning of this award as well as he can. The floor is yours. Distinguished members of Koç family, dear participants, we would have liked to have this meeting in a nice environment face-to-face -face with you. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has had an impact on all areas of social life, we are organizing the award ceremony online once again this year in its fifth year, and I'm very happy to be addressing you. Of course, this is one of the most prestigious sports awards of our country, and in the creation of this award, the Koç family has selected to collaborate with the Turkish Olympic Committee, and this is a great source of joy for us. A, an esteemed businessman and a, an athlete, a sports executive and a sports fan and as someone committed to the Olympic values such as respect, friendship and excellence, I would like to once again commemorate Mustafa Koç. Mrs. Carolyn and the Koch family, while creating these awards, did not only aim to eternize Mustafa Koch's memory, but they also wanted to fulfill a dream that he had. Mustafa Koch believed that this award would pioneer the widespreading of the values he always protected. And I believe that this testament has now been executed. And my dear friend Sergei Bubka from the International Olympic uh, Committee uh, is also with us today, and this is showing us that the Mustafa Koç Sports Award has reached its goals on the international arena as well. Now, awards honor the awardee, not the awarder, and the recipients of this award previously are currently setting an example for society, and I'm very happy to be witnessing this. Briefly, we will be hearing the winner of this year's award, and I would like to congratulate the recipients of this year's awards in advance, and I hope to see you all face to face in our next awards ceremony, and I cordially greet you all. His record in pole vaulting could not be broken for 26 years. We are talking about an Olympic medalist athlete, member of the International Olympic Committee, president of the National Olympic Committee of Ukraine, and someone who was very well known across the Turkish audience. Once again, this year, we are hosting a very special name who has become the symbol of Olympic values. We are hosting Sergei Bo Sergei Bubka has honored us by attending our ceremony and he has raised the bar or the pole very high as an executive after his life as an athlete dear as well. Mr. Ur Erdener, dear Turkish Olympic family, dear athletes, dear friends, allow me to congratulate all of you to organize such a nice and a great important award ceremony. Mustafa Coach Award Ceremony, it's unite everyone around Olympic values. Olympic values means friendship, excellence, and respect. Such a ceremony for the countries like yours is very, very important. You have great athletes. You have great sport history. I visited your country by invitation, my friend Ur Erdener, many times. And I know what you're doing, what kind of facilities do you have. And of course, I would like to congratulate all of you with certain medals which you achieved in Tokyo Olympic Games. These games, they were very important for the world. This is really light and great motivation 
for future of the world society. From 2000, I was honored to become athletes representative in IUC executive board. Later, I became the chairman of IUC Athletes Commission. Of course, IUC trusted us and gave us possibility to make decisions together with all Olympic family to bring our knowledge, experience, feelings, and also test the decision that by our, our leaders. Athletes' involvement in decision process in international Olympic movement, in international federations, national Olympic committees, national federation, today totally in different shape and different condition. You athlete needs to be role model for the society, for the youngsters. You are well known in the country. Everyone follow your comments, your achievements, your successes. But also from your side, you need to always pay attention regarding your education during career. Life after sport will finish one day and you must be ready. Your knowledge and education will be very helpful for you during career to be the best, to be, as I said, role model for society. We would like to live in better society, but we must to give something to this society. You should pay a lot of attention for environment, a friendly uh, condition, not only in your country, but all over the world. And I know many examples, which is really encouraging, like International Olympic Committee Start Olympic Forest Project. In Ukrainian National Olympic Committee, we plant the trees in different parts of our country. We put Olympic uh, uh, avenues where we plant the tree with different great champions. This is very important time. Today you have social media when you can follow, you can present yourself. But don't forget, your results is most important in this uh, environment today. I would like to bring your attention about the clean sport, the IOC international sport movement put all efforts to succeed this battle and your honesty it's very important pay attention for that be honest dear athletes dear friends allow me to wish all of you to be healthy and strong achieve your goals continue to develop your skills and be the best of the best and make your nation proud about your victories, your successes. Good luck. We are approaching the most exciting moment of the night. The recipient of the Mustafa Koch Sports Award will soon be announced. The successful athlete or athletes who meet the selection criteria will be the owners of the award designed by world-renowned Ivan Charmeyev together with a monetary reward. However, before that, we would like to introduce you with the selection committee members of 2020. We will have a remote conversation with them and learn the details about the selection criteria. Hello, let's start with you, Mr. Turgay. Can you tell us about the importance of this award and its contribution to Turkish sports? Athletes who are devoted to their branches with uh, devotion, this is as valuable as the medals that they may win, and its impact is growing year on year, and I believe it will also have an effect on having new athletes join the Turkish sports world, and I believe this award will definitely have an effect on this. How many athletes were evaluated this year, and what was the most challenging part for you? We had 97 nominees this year, uh, especially since it is right after the Tokyo Olympic Games. We had a lot of successful athletes, and of course, 
Uh, this uh, award is deemed very important in the public opinion, and uh, that's why it is important that the athletes who receive this award are sensitive about the way they carry them. And uh, we tried to take all this criteria into account, and we had a very well-disciplined uh, process and we always took accurate decisions and this year our jury took a great decision as well. So if it could you tell us about uh, the shortlist uh, process and is there anything interesting you could tell us? Well during our my selection I usually uh, take into consideration the most important achievements of the athletes who took part in the largest organizations. And then I uh, look at uh, those athletes' uh, stances or the emotion they provide. Uh, there are a lot of sports activities that we can't follow on the press. And there are a lot of sports laborers that we are unaware of. And I see that in the lists at the Mustafa Koç Sports Award. So what, how do you evaluate the Turkish athletes in terms of commitment to Olympic values? Well, as we are making our decision, we take these values into consideration, uh, such as respect, friendship, and excellence. And this year, we had achievements in branches which we hadn't had achievements in previously. And in uh, terms of achieving uh, excellence, our athletes portrayed a great uh, performance. And truly, uh, friendship, respect, and excellence are being adopted by Turkish athletes. So Mr. Hassan, Mr. Efe, this question is for the two of you. In the 21st century, what do you think the responsibilities of athletes are? Well, you are in the TOC. So let's hear it from you first, Efe. Thank you. Well, for the recipient of the athlete or team that receives the Mustafa Coach Sports Award, the social messages they give are very important. And this is in line with the life of uh, Mustafa Coach in terms of uh, gender equality, being a good person, being um, an athlete uh, or team of athletes that has a love for their country. And then their federations, coaches, trainers, they're all considered as a whole. So this award is not given for a specific result achieved on a specific date. The Mustafa Koch Sports Award in philosophy, I believe, will be a very important guide in uh, defining uh, what sportsmanship is. Well, respect to the national team, the national jersey or uniform, carrying the pride of representing the country, and being aware of the fact uh, that their federation trainers, coaches are also by their side in this achievement. I mean, I, I think that's what makes uh, the recipients different. And I believe the 21st century athletes, not just as athletes, but as individuals need to give us important messages. Mr. Lya and Mr. Turgay, what are your recommendations for uh, athletes? Well, let me put my academician identity aside, and uh, maybe I can give some recommendations as the mother of an athlete. I believe education and sports need to go hand in hand. They definitely need to complete uh, their uh, formal education as well. And of course, uh, they need to uh, continue their sports life with commitment to Olympic values. And they need to focus on the widespreading of these values. And they need to be good role models. Well, for young athletes, uh, their targets should always be international, no matter what branch they are in. They should not only aim for being champions in Turkey, but they should aim for Olympic championships. And at the team level, they should aim to be part of the most significant teams of the world. And 
I uh, believe it is also very important to utilize the stories of former outstanding athletes. Yes, thank you very much for your contribution as we reach the end of this conversation. And before I invite Ms. Caroline Koch on stage to announce the award, I would like to introduce our jury members. Our jury president is Mrs. Caroline Koch. Our jury members are Mr. Omar Koch and Professor Ur Ardenaj. We would like to express our gratitude for their contributions, and we have reached the most exciting moment of the night. I would like to leave the floor once again to Mrs. Karadit Koch to announce the winner. The floor is yours. Dear guests, we had very distinguished nominees for the Mustafa Koch Sports Award this year as well. More than 1,000 federation clubs, civil society organizations, and academicians nominated uh, their candidates for the award. And it is a huge responsibility for us to make the accurate selection, especially in the year of the Olympics. It's even harder to make such a decision. And after long evaluations, we made our decision, and I would like to share our decision with you. For the extraordinary achievement in his field and for his personality that is committed to Olympic values, the winner of the Mustafa Koç Sports Award is the athlete who enabled our country to receive the first gold medal in archery at the Tokyo Olympic Games, Mete Gazos. Congratulations. Thank you. We are very pleased to be presenting this award to you. Thank you for deeming me worthy of this award. Thank you. Now, let's have a look at the video we prepared for you together. I grab my arrow. I place my arrow. I look at the wind, see where it's blowing from. I fix my glasses. And I fix my right hand. And I draw the bow. And then I think of my technique and take the shot. I'm Mete Gazoz. I started archery when I was three years old, and it is because of my dad, really. We would train together. Uh, we are doing this for the first time as a father and son. Archery started like a game for him. He was at the club together with his father, and he would be walking around as his dad was shooting an arrow. My dad would close the living room door, and he would uh, take uh, short distance shots. And I would sneak out of uh, the uh, comforter and go try to watch him. And there was no uh, bow that was suitable for a three-year-old, so my dad made a custom one. I still use that bow for six, seven-year-olds that come, and I tell them, look, this is a very valuable bow that will, you will be using. I tell them that Mete was using this when he was three, and you should see the sparkle, the excitement in their eyes. In 2013, we had initiated a new project uh, titled The Youth of the Olympics, and we had a lot of young people who joined our camps uh, from the 13, 14 uh, year uh, old uh, group. Mete was very young, but uh, he made a lot of progress day by day, and he absorbed everything that was given uh, to him. When I was in the national team, I would usually take the last shot, and I would feel like all the spotlights were directed at me, and uh, when I uh, scored well, I heard the cheering behind me. I mean, he managed to surpass people who were much older than him and more experienced than him, and that's when we knew he could do it.
Once I experienced that feeling, I said to myself, I must continue doing this. The best part of archery, what I love about it the most, is uh, that uh, your title, your age, your weight, your height doesn't matter. It is a very honest and very equal sport. I was in the 11, 12 year old group at the time, and uh, my uh, component's arrow dropped, and the referee wrote zero. And I looked at the paper and I said, uh, Well, no, he actually made it, but it fell afterwards. And the referee asked, Which hole was it? And Meta said, It was this one. And the referee said, Well, if I actually write down the score, you won't make it to the finals. And uh, he qualified, and I didn't. And the referees uh, came together and they took a sheet of paper and they created this fair play cup for him. The human mind, once it uh, believes it cannot do something, it starts to make excuses. I mean, can I be able to do it? What if I use the wrong technique? Well, if you think about it that way, you may lose. But if you think about it positively, you could win it, win as well. Well, there was uh, the uh, Coda place qualification for the 26 Olympics uh, at the World Championship. And I did very bad. And basically, all the preparation went down the drain and I thought I can't do this well before uh, that championship he was getting the best scores I mean he was working really hard and we were supporting him and when he couldn't make it he felt really bad towards us as well in our family, there's a tradition. You don't do something you don't like. And my mom said, if you don't want to do it, uh, stop doing it. And you, you know, you can't always support uh, them during achievements. You need to support them during failures as well, and they need to feel it. But she said, your dad and I really believe that you can be a great archer in the future. And we told him, we love you all the time, not only when you're successful. And I said, look, if we can't win one of the two competitions ahead of us and can't make it to the next Olympics, then we'll go home and watch the competitions on TV and we'll start to find something else that we can do in life. But until then, we can't give up, I said. And after that, I saw a brand new Mete, grounded, um, mature, acting like a real athlete. And then in 2016, at the World Championship, I broke the uh, Turkey record. And I was first in the Coda uh, place uh, as well. And at that point, I said, Meta will be the medalist if there's going to be anyone. And in uh, 2018, the world got to know me. I got the uh, World Cup. I got three gold medals at the European uh, Championship. I also got uh, awards. And I went up to fifth place in the world ranking. And then I was uh, the winner at Berlin. And I was around 9 or 10. Well, since I had a family and I had my business going, uh, you know, I had all these question marks, so I couldn't make it to the Olympics at the time. And I had said to my dad, don't worry, you will go to the Olympics when I was 9 or 10. And I said, well, I'm going to make it to the Olympics, and we are going to have the same surname engraved on the backs of our t-shirts. Well, you need to have faith at the beginning. You can't do anything without faith. If they have faith, that's what matters to us. We're in Japan. We're in Tokyo. We are going to be collecting great memories here, and we are getting very close to those memories. We had a plan that would lead us to the medal. I mean, we, we knew where this road was going to. Mete Gazoz. He is very close to becoming one of the golden men of Turkish sports. Come on, Mete. Score a 10 and finish it.
he scores 10 and he wins the gold medal. You are amazing, Mete. The gold medal is ours. I, the only arrow that I was sure would get a 10 was the arrow I shot at the Olympics because I took that shot so many times in my mind. That shot was very important for us uh, as well. This is like a snowball that is created by three generations and finally we got the Olympic championship. He is very committed uh, to his values. I mean, he can have great achievements, but he will always be the same meta. That uh, move was something that was shown to me by my friend uh, during table tennis, and I hadn't seen him for a while. Uh, but uh, when he did that move on uh, the podium that day, I was very surprised, and it turned into like a victory symbol uh, for Turkey. Hello everyone. When I first grabbed the bow and arrow, I was only three years old. Sports was always a part of my life, and actually saying a part of my life is an understatement. I learned life through sports, and I always worked to be better. Maybe I didn't always win, but when I failed, I learned a lot. So, in short, sports is what makes me who I am today. In 2016, at the Olympic Games that took place in Rio, or after the Olympic Games in Rio, I made a promise to myself and our entire society. I said I am going to be the owner of the gold medal in Tokyo. And currently I am standing before you as someone who has realized their childhood dream and as someone who has kept their promise to you and as an Olympic champion. And I hope that this historic achievement in the field of archery will be inspiration for many young people and I hope we will have many Olympic gold medalists in our country. Mustafa Koç attached great importance to sports and athletes and he worked towards the development of Turkish sports and he contributed to the uh, raising of many athletes. I commemorate him with respect as a very esteemed uh, person and I would like to thank you for granting this award to me and finally I would like to thank my greatest supporters, my family who never left me uh, alone and I would like to thank the Turkish Archery Federation, uh, particularly Yusuf David Ergin and all of uh, my uh, coaches, our ministry and the Turkish Olympic Committee. Distinguished guests, as I said in the beginning, the 2021 Mustafa Koç Sports Award was quite challenging in terms of selecting a single recipient. And for that reason, we stretched the flexibility provided by our award regulations as far as we could, and we wanted to split the award. The second recipient of the award it is a team that makes us proud with the values they represent in addition to the achievements they have made over the years. It is the Turkish national women's volleyball team. Congratulations. 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 
Congratulations. Thank you very much. We are very pleased to be presenting this award to you. Let me present it to you. Thank you very much. Now, let's have a look at the video we have prepared for you. Everyone is playing volleyball. Volleyball is one of the most popular sports. I mean, you could go to resort areas, you'll see people play, playing beach volley, or, or you'll be driving down the street and children will be playing volleyball. They are imitating me or Hand or Zehra, whoever they really like in the team. So there are a lot of young people uh, that pursue volleyball. And I'm walking down the street, people say, oh, it's Eda Erdem. They say, we're very proud of you. As the Sultans of the Net, we have been successful for many years in 2003, then the European Championship, and then in 2011, uh, we gained momentum again and we got uh, medals at the European Championship at the Grand Prix, and we became the first volleyball team to attend the Olympics for our country. And of course, we are very happy at the point we have reached right now. Now, no achievement is by coincidence. There is always a lot of underlying effort, investments, uh, struggle. Women's volleyball in Europe, uh, I mean, when you look at it, Turkey and Italy are competing with one another in that arena. And of course, the investment through sp sponsors and uh, receiving quality athletes and coaches really helped. Because they did a really an amazing job, from the staff to the player to everybody. Really an amazing job. Federation organization was, was great and was really, I tell you, was a great result. You know, because for me, great result is, is doing the best you can and doing best, better than some other team that on paper are better than you. People also like our individual characters and they like the harmony we have on the court, the way we fight until the last ball because we never give up as a team. And of course, when it is the national jersey, uh, they know that uh, we work selflessly away from our families for days and months. We are a great team. One day, one of the players shines out and we try to support that person or sometimes we try to fill in for someone who's not doing very well that day. So that's what teamwork is about. You always try to win. I mean, if someone uh, asks you for help, you need to help them if you're a team. So team is a family. Our women's national team made great achievements and they uh, showed us how women mark their name under great achievements. They showed this both on and off the court. The 2016-2017 final game between Fenerbahce and Galatasaray, and uh, if we're talking about Olympic values, this is a great uh, example. I owe all my success to women, basically, because I coach women volleyball from, from when I start to coach volleyball, you know, so women gave me really a lot, you know, so, and I, I don't want that there are women in this country that they don't have this vision. I mean, the point is to be free to be free to choose whatever you want. Our Turkish women can achieve anything. There is nothing they cannot do. Whenever they told me you can't do that, I always said to myself, no, I can do it. And I always moved along the path that I had faith in. And I believe everyone needs to have faith in themselves and fight till the last moment. And I mean, we are very strong beings anyway. There is nothing we cannot achieve. Hello, I would like to thank the coach community, the Turkish Olympic Committee, the jury and the selection committee for this valuable award on behalf of my entire team. We commemorate the valuable memory of Mustafa Koch with love and respect and his smile and his love and support for sports lives in our hearts. The women's volleyball field made a lot of progress in the recent years and your support 
support for us grew, and I believe our success will continue towards the future, and we will continue to make history. Now, this achievement wasn't easy at the individual level, and as a national team, uh, we try to move towards our goal, and all, we always fight to make sure our flag waves in the end, and we don't give up until the last ball, and we take firm steps towards our uh, targets, and we hope to set an example for the new generations. The women, the women of our country are also part of our team, and we will continue to represent Olympic values like respect, friendship, excellence, and solidarity. No matter how resistant the setbacks we face are, we will continue to fight, and we will mark our name under many other achievements. This award is the award of athletes enshrined in our hearts with their extraordinary sports achievements as well as their commitments to Olympic values. This award is the award of those who become an inspiration even as they lose. And this award is the award of children who are starting their sports lives today with the Olympic dream. And we hope the Mustafa Koch Sports Award continues to be an inspiration inspiration for all. We have reached the end of our award ceremony, and we remembered Mustafa Koch's passion for sports and his vision, and we commemorated him with love and respect. Thank you for being with us.